The windows are still boarded up at this big five in San Bernardino. It was one of many stores in town that were looted back in June as nationwide protests were ramping up over the Minneapolis police killing of George Floyd. My thinking was, where are the police? You know? Aren't you trying to stop these guys? Well, deputies did show up to this sporting goods store and caught a suspected looter in action. But the district attorney's office now says the deputy who arrested the looter looted the store too. It's really bad when you can't even trust the police. What well, kind of hurts me to hear that? Like, what is stealing going to do? The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department tells us Erdem Gorgalu is no longer employed there. The night of the looting, a fellow deputy sheriff reported Gorgalu used excessive force during the arrest. Good, because I'm sure all his buddies aren't too happy with him, but too bad. And on further investigation, they found property stolen from the store inside Gorgalu's personal car. Right, guys it's monday and i have a new editorial for you to start out the week a new editorial and a runny nose i have a cold no it's not coronavirus it's just a cold um because of the weather change it went from really hot to now it's going kind of chilly out here uh but you know on this one there's so much to talk about people are sending me emails i mean i I didn't know where to start, and I said, I'll start in my own county. This one happened about three or four days ago, the arrest anyway, or the charges. And we're going to talk about it. I'm going to give you a link to this story in the description box below, and under that one will be a link to the KCAL 9 news coverage. It's a video from YouTube. It's KCAL 9 news. If you at least don't read this one, you at least need to watch that news story from YouTube. The link is in the description box below. Again, remember, click the little black triangular arrow here. It opens a description box. There are your links. Uh, you can read what I'm about to give you now, as well as watch the KKL9 news story. You really need to watch it, especially if you're pissed off about cops who are dishonest. Now, thank God there was a cop out there that stepped up and said, you know what? This guy over here, Gorgalu, he stole he got stolen stuff. I don't know exactly what he said. We'll find out here. But it was a fellow deputy who turned him in and said, dad, 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 we don't do that. That's right. San Bernardino County. We don't be doing that shit. So he's gone. I don't know if he's going to be charged. Let's find out. Let's just jump into it. Thank you to CBS Local for this news story. A former San Bernardino sheriff's deputy is under investigation in connection for using too much force to arrest a suspected looter and then allegedly stealing items from that store himself. <clears throat> Erdem Gorgulu, 46, of San Bernardino, was placed on a paid administrative leave on June 3rd, just two days after the incident at a Big Five sporting goods store at 2150 East Highland Avenue in San Bernardino. He had been a deputy sheriff for 11 and a half years, but was no longer an employee of the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. As of August 24th, officials said, that was last week. San Bernardino County Sheriff John McMahon said in a statement, quote, The criminal acts committed by Gorgalu while serving in his capacity as a deputy sheriff are inexcusable and undermine all the good, valuable work deputies do every day. Although Gorgalu's acts were unacceptable and disheartening, this incident serves as an example of how deputies are willing to come forward and report unethical behavior. Thumbs up and kudos to you, Sheriff John McMahon, for stepping up as the leader that you really are. He's got tough standards for those guys and ladies. And kudos to the deputy who stepped up and said, he's a thief. Let's move on. Gorgalu is one of the Central Station deputies who assisted San Bernardino police in responding to a looting call at the sporting goods store on June 1st when recent protests became violent. According to San Bernardino Sheriff's officials, Gorgalu used force when arresting Juan Martinez, who was later booked on suspicion of looting, burglary, and committing a felony offense while out on bail. 
Another deputy believed Gorglu's actions in arresting Martinez were unwarranted and unethical and notified the watch commander. Sheriff's officials said touching off a criminal investigation by detectives from the Sheriff's Specialized Investigation Division. The criminal investigation uncovered that Gorgalu may have also taken property from the store and a search warrant served on his personal vehicle recovered the stolen property, according to authorities. Sheriff's Department Sheriff John McMahon said, quote, Mr. Gorgalu's conduct does not represent the vast majority of law enforcement officers throughout this country and this county, I will add myself. He goes on, quote, who serve with the integrity, honor, and uphold the rule of law every day. It was a member of the Sheriff's Department who reported Mr. Gorgalu's conduct, leading to a thorough and objective investigation. We are thankful for this member's commitment to their professional duties. The Sheriff's Department says the criminal investigation has been submitted to the county's district attorney's office for review. So, Mr. DA, that's Mr. Anderson, it's up to you now to bring charges of theft on this guy, and he needs to have a record. Not, well, he got fired. Goodbye, Deputy Law Enforcement. Thin blue line. Um, I can't help that, but I see so many cops who break the law and get a little bad baby. You're not working here no more. Bye-bye. You know, this guy needs to get, he stole. He shoplifted during a looting that's bad. So he needs to have a record, whether it's, uh, you know, class one, uh, class C felony. I don't know what the property amount was, but class A misdemeanor, whatever. They need to give this guy charges and he needs to go to court and stand before a judge. And the judge needs to say, you stole. He's just any other clown now. He's just any other thief. He's not a cop no more. Um, and at that point, he really wasn't a cop anyway. He was a thief wearing a badge. So, and in this county, that shouldn't fly. I give the San Marino County Sheriff's Department a hard time sometimes. I give Sheriff McMahon a hard time sometimes because he's a leader and he needs to step up. It's nothing personal against Sheriff McMahon. I actually think he's a tough sheriff with great standards. But sometimes his deputies, like this Gorgalu, F up and they need to be held accountable. And when they're not, yeah, I bring it back on the sheriff and say, Sheriff, these are your boys. You know, when they put spotlights in our face and we're just trying to record what's going on. Sheriff, that's your boy. F and up, you know. So, yeah, we sometimes I will give them a hard time. But what I'm saying now is that overall, I think we've got some really great cops in this county. I think we have some of the best in this county. I have recorded police officers in local police departments throughout the Inland Empire, and I'll say that San Marino County Sheriff's deputies uh, often uh, seem to be the most professional. Uh, those that aren't will end up on my YouTube channel in one of my videos because I watch Leo's. That's law enforcement officers to include you, county, Sheriff, uh, San Marino County deputies. I watch law enforcement officers from coast to coast, especially in San Bernardino County, and especially you, Mr. Gorgaloo, because now you're not Deputy Gorgaloo, you're Mr. Gorgaloo, and you're going to be appearing before a judge as Mr. Gorgaloo. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I got to run. S uh, see you later. I don't know. I need coffee. It's Monday. You know, guys, you know on Monday, I blabber and blabber. I can't do it. What's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't get much sleep last night. Maybe I'm punch drunk. You guys got to love it. If you don't love this, if you don't love my videos, then you're really boring. Thank you for watching. Remember, click subscribe <laughs> and uh, click the little bell. Ding, -a ding, and you'll get your notifications. I'm out of here. Links below to the story and the KKL9 YouTube news coverage. Thank you guys for watching.